How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. You guys are tuning in once again and I gotta say thank you because we got some more cool parts to install on this A3. With that being said, you guys can tell we're gonna probably install a dog mount with the upgraded polyurethane rubber bushing mount. You know how it goes. Let's dive right into this and show you how to do it. First move, raise that bitty up. All right guys, grab the biggest breaker bar you have. Look at this. Nice and long. <laughs> long boy. Can't even get the whole thing in there. It's a 21 millimeter. Righty tighty lefty loosey. All right, there we go. And now let's break these 16s free. This is overkill, but I have the breaker bar out, so why not? There we go. We won't be reusing these, so throw them away. Get 21 out. Oh yeah. Oh, that corrosion, beautiful. All right, so, just be able to wiggle it out. There we go, hold one out. So this thing came with some lube. I'm gonna go ahead and lube it up right before we install this. Make it a lot easier to get in there. See, so you have these ears, ears. All right, now let's put the dog mount bolt in. Let's go ahead and just finger tight this in there. Let's get these 16s in there. All right, I want to start with the one in the rear first. So we have 134 or 130 foot pounds plus a 90 degree turn. All right, 90 degree turn. All right, a little more sauce, there we go. So we have 50 newton meters plus a 90 degree turn. All right guys, last piece of the puzzle. Got an 18 and a 16 here. The torque spec is 65 foot-pounds. There you go, that's it. Well, that was probably one of the quickest installs we've had on the A3. Comment down below, tell me what you think, and like always, stay BDT tuned.